Wildlife Aid Foundation, yes. good afternoon. I'd say it's a really poor prognosis. It moved off into the neighbour's garden, it then came back and collapsed again. Oh my God! Deep in the heart of the home counties, there is a remarkable A&E department, where a team of dedicated volunteers work 24 hours a day to give sick, injured, and orphaned wild animals a second chance. There are highs, and there are lows, and ultimately, not every patient will survive. You want to stop and you think, I can't do this anymore but then a baby bird will come in and, and you have to, you have to keep going. But with this emergency helpline, these animals in crisis face a brighter future. I suppose the most rewarding part is once you've rescued something, you've seen it go through the whole process and then releasing it. Nothing beats it, especially when you've put a lot of work into something and to see it go free is well, what we do it for. As the casualties arrive and the team set to work, we follow a day in the life of one of Britain's busiest wildlife rescue centres as the team battles to get these animals back to the wild.